everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is staying healthy and safe i am still quarantining here in san francisco so i'm doing a video series where i take you to a few tourist attractions in the city that are not super well known so in my last video we went to the wave organ in the marina district and that was actually my first time visiting the wave organ and it was a really unique experience so if you haven't watched that video definitely go check it out but today i'm so excited because we are going to a spot that i go to quite frequently it's known as the 16th ave tiled steps and if you follow me on instagram you've definitely seen me post a few pictures here um, the stairs are located in the sunset district but i'm also really excited because after we visit the steps i'm going to take you to what i believe is the best view in all of san francisco i recently discovered it maybe two weeks ago so i'm really excited to show you where that is too okay i'm going to start walking to the steps um, and as i do i will share some facts about the sunset district the Sunset District is one of San Francisco's most western districts, so it borders the Pacific Ocean on the west and the Golden Gate Park to the north. It is a great place to go to if you are in the mood for some delicious Asian cuisine. It's also the district that holds the San Francisco Zoo. And it is also a really fun place to go to if you want some Instagram pictures in front of some really colorful houses and buildings. Also, the Sunset District is the home of my favorite place, Donut World, which has also made an appearance or two on my Instagram. The creation of these tiles was really a grassroots effort started by two residents of the Sunset District. Started in 2003, the main goal of this project was to beautify the neighborhood and unite the community. Truly a group effort, members of the community came together during mosaic making workshops to create the beautiful artwork themselves. At the bottom of the steps, the tiles have an underwater theme and feature sea creatures. But as you climb the steps, you'll notice that the theme gradually changes into a celestial motif with stars and ultimately a yellow sun at the very top. Okay, so I'm at the top of the steps. I had to kind of move out of the way because there was a lot of people and it's really windy, but the view from the top of the steps is beautiful. You're looking directly at the Pacific Ocean, but that was not the view that I was talking about earlier. So I'm gonna take you to the top of the hill that's right behind the steps and show you the best view in San Francisco right now. So let's go check it out. So obviously there's a lot of steps to climb in order to get to the top of the hill. But if you're unable to climb steps or if you just don't feel like it, there's a road that you can drive up that actually gets you pretty close to the top. Well, the hill is actually a small park aptly named Grand View Park. And I really think this is the best view in the city because you can literally see every single part of SF. Starting all the way to the east, you can see the financial district of downtown. You can see the iconic Salesforce building which is, I think, the tallest building west of Chicago. You can also see the Transamerica building. Panning to the west, all of this green space right here is the Golden Gate Park. And what's really cool is on a clear day like today, you can see the top of the Golden Gate Bridge peeking out from behind the Presidio Park. If we keep panning to the west, we can see Land's End, which is another park, and then, of course, the Pacific Ocean. So thank you so much for watching this video, and definitely let me know in the comments if you have a suggestion for my next video of a tourist location that is not super well known. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.